Hi, I'm Amy Barrett Daffin, publisher at CNT Publishing, and today I wanted to tell you about our newest Best Ever Iron On quilt labels. This one's called More Best Ever Iron On Quilt Labels, and this one is perfect for graduations, weddings, baby announcements, and more. There's over a hundred designs and they're all iron-on transfer. So what you'll see when you open the book is you will see that if there's any writing, it will be reversed. And that is so when it iron-on transfers, it comes out right reading. And I'll show you an example of that. So then what you do is you decide on one of the designs, you cut it out, and using some movie magic, I have one already cut out and then you transfer it down. And I'm gonna show you some of my examples in just a minute, but I just wanna show you just how easy this is. So you've got your fabric right here, and you put your label down. And the one thing you wanna make sure of is that you don't move the label once you start pressing. So, and you don't need to do a lot of hard pressing, you just put the iron down, you shift it over, and just make sure you don't move the label. Just go like that. There you go. I usually use my finger and I just hold it down while I press. And then you can just pick it up and you're all set and you've got your label. So then what can you do with the label? You can embroider it. Um, and what I did here, which I wanna show you is I got some fabric markers and I just had the best time coloring and so I did it on a big piece of fabric because I wanted to see what the different colors look like but here you can see I made one for my niece Kelsey and you can write in there and work on your penmanship here another niece Julian so I drew these beautiful little uh, dolls in there and then my neighbors have a Volkswagen van that literally is this color so I colored that because they like to go camping in it and it's just as easy as that so how do you do the coloring well I'm going to move my ironing pad out of the way and you just want to use um, pens that are uh, waterproof and so I used some micron pens and then there's also these identa pens and you can use those too and what's nice about these is they have a fine tip and a felt tip so you can see how easy it is to color and then all you have to do is you go in and you just start coloring so say I wanted to color this little thing red I'm just gonna go right in and color in the all the way to the edges even outside the edges if I feel like it because I'm a rule breaker so I might be known to color outside the edges and then you can also, if you want something like with these teeny tiny little, le little leaves, these micron pens come in different tip sizes um, and they're not terribly expensive. So you can sort of play around and find out what works for you. But you can see how quickly you can just start coloring this in and getting it done. And it's, it's super simple. And like I said, there are over 100 designs in this book um, and then a little tip that I came up with is I took an envelope that had adhesive on the edge right here and I just stuck it inside the book and that way because you can reuse these transfers over and over I just slide in the design and I have it for next time and that's all there is to it. So this is the more best ever iron on quilt labels. Um, if you liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Amy Barrett Daffin, publisher at CNT Publishing.